2059 speaking. Send John Medi Court Center for our be ready. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, Hello, interpreter. My name is Dr. Scott. I'm an OBGYN. I have Mrs. Ahmed here. She speaks Arabic and she's in labor. We need to get a consent for an epidural. But first, I have to tell her some of the risks you may encounter. You could please interpret for us. Sure. Epidural may cause infection, paralysis, as well as risk for the baby. Do we have your consent to administer the epidural? Yes, yes, quickly. It's coming out. Thank you, interpreter. How was your week? The usual. My interpretation job, jogging, going out with friends. Did Tina introduce you to another nice guy? She always does. And what about your friends? They were jogging with me earlier. My cousin, Tony. My parents, the two soldiers. What did they tell you? Tony was tired from running and wanted to stop. I just ignored him. Do you feel any better with the medication? Any thoughts of suicide? Up, I jump. Good. So, how's Ron? It's Chris now. Ron and I broke up last week. I can't keep up with you. <laughs> All right. How are things going with Chris? <laughs> Great. Couldn't be better. Good. I was wondering if we can have fewer sessions now. No, dear, not yet. First, we have to bury your dead friends and make sure they don't bother you anymore. How much longer? You know, I'm only charging you a fraction of what I generally charge because of your financial situation and because I care about you. I know it's very hard for you, but I really believe that with therapy and medication, we can make some real progress here. I think we already have made some progress. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Next Monday, then, at 6. It's enough here for a week. Next week, I'll give you enough for another week. Thank you. Oui, allô? 
Bonsoir, monsieur. Je suis votre interprète. Comment puis-je vous aider Je voudrais porter plainte pour harcèlement sexuel. I would like to report sexual harassment. Were you personally involved, sir? Êtes-vous directement impliqué, monsieur? Oui. Yes. Go ahead and tell me what happened. Racontez-moi ce qui s'est passé. Alors, la directrice des ventes, qui est mon manager, euh, My manager, who is also the director of sales, asked me to come to her office to talk about my salary raise. She asked me if it's true what they say about black men. She asked me to unzip my pants so she can check it out. Vous avez de beau tenir votre pantalon? Qu'est-ce qui s'est passé ensuite? She told me it was very large indeed. She said she would give me my raise if she gives me a blowjob. So I let her give me a blowjob. Hey, you're late as usual. I'll get you some wine. Hi, you're great. Um, he is so pissed that you're late. I wasn't sure what to wear. No. Did he hit on other girls? Uh, a little, it was nothing. I'm so done with him. Good to see you, Tarani. Hi. Thank you. So, how was your day? Good. Did you miss me? Did you? Of course, you know I did. Is that why you're hitting on other girls? Please, not again. Everybody, I wanted to thank you so much for coming help celebrate my new job. Let's party! And to my best friend. I love you. I love you too. Don't worry, he'll come back. They always do. I can't even stand him anymore. Well, how's therapy? She keeps giving me antidepressants. Well, half of America is on antidepressants. Well, I would rather stick with the other half. <laughs> True. Well, how's work? This guy's boss keeps calling him in and wants to measure his dick. What? It's 10 inches long. You're kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Oh. Then she gives him a blowjob. Actually, that was a condition for him to get a raise. Oh my god. <laughs> no wonder you're going cuckoo. Your job is insane. I've never heard of that before. A guy reporting his boss for giving him a blowjob and a raise. <laughs> Maybe that's what you're missing. What, blowjobs? No, silly. A guy. A guy that makes you happy. Hey, easy on that. Okay, I'm just gonna introduce you to people until we find the right guy. Well, keep them coming. <laughs> okay, um, let me introduce you to a bunch of my coworkers. Okay. Come on. Funky out. You said you would follow me back to make sure I'm safe. Well, I'm home and I'm safe. Hey, hey, not tonight. I'm tired. I just want to go to bed. No, no! I don't turn you on anymore. Go back to the girls you were hitting on at the party. No, get off me. Fine, maybe I will. Mahmoud? Yumkin. Bad khafu. 
احنا بامان هون كارلا بكره جايين ياخذونا لملجا اكبر من هيدا بعد نص ساعه بصير في حصر تجوف هاي فينا نروح لبرا ونشوف الشمس مش امن تروحوا برا بس انا اربع ايام ما شفنا الشمس شاب شو عوية كتير عوية رايحين عجبها بعدنا راجعين رجعنا العدو لورا يعني رح نربع الهرب أكيد رح نربع الهرب 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 فود إلى جوا يا أولاد Let's talk about that day again. We were hiding in the basement. We called it shelter. My parents had just gotten in to help us back so we can go to a bigger shelter. The bombs were very loud. The shelter got hit by a bomb. I was the only one who survived. Sometimes losing loved ones is a part of life. Can we talk about something else? How's Chris? He left me. Does that make you sad? But then maybe he wasn't the right one. I'll see you again next Monday, same time. It doesn't last you another week. Thank you, Dr. Goldstein. This is 911 dispatch. We have a man in distress on a rooftop. What is your interpreter ID? 2591. I can't live without Ava. She's my life. Get that fucking psycho off my roof and out of my building. Now. Sir, if you can hear me, please step away from Ali and the ledge. Interpreter, please ask Ali to calm down and talk to us. Is Ali? I speak perfect English. Why are you talking to me in Russian? Ali, do you not speak Arabic? Get him out of my building now! Sir, I know you're upset he's on your roof. Please just let me talk I'm an American. Ali. I don't need an interpreter. I just want to die. You can all leave me alone. Ali, calm down. It's going to be okay. Stay exactly where you are. Help us on the way. Psycho. Interpreter, do not hang up the phone or we'll lose the call. This is a three-way call. If you really wanted to die, you wouldn't be standing on a rooftop making a whole scene. Interpreter! If you don't get him off my roof, I'm going to push his sorry ass Sir, down. Sir, do not approach him. Stay exactly where you are. What do you know about wanting to die? 
You think you're the only one who ever thought about it? Interpreter, I am warning Get the you. psycho out of my building. Ali, help us on the way. Just talk to me for a second. Hey, listen, 2591 or whatever your number is. Have you ever lost someone so dear to you that your world came to an end? Yes, I did. I did. What do you know about loss? Interpreter, enough. Ali, listen to me. Help us on the way. Do not move. Get that Do not hang up the phone. Everything is going to be fine. Just stay calm. They're here. They're going to lock you up. Psycho. Sir, do not agitate him any 2591. Further. Are you still on the phone? Interpreter 2591. Ali, talk to me. The paramedics are going to get that. Let me go. Let me go. Interpreter 2591. Fine. 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 I can't be in a relationship. Why? Why do you think that is? I don't know. I meet a guy. I like him. I sleep with him. And then it ends. You're afraid to get attached. You're afraid to care about someone and then lose them. I'm not afraid. Fear of losing someone you love or care about. Think about that. Think about that in relationship to your past. Five nine one speaking. Go ahead. I want to report domestic violence against my wife. Fikit al Nashusar. Every evening I come home, my wife starts an argument. She thinks I'm cheating on her. She keeps pushing and hitting me. Sometimes with her hands, sometimes she throws plates and cooking utensils at me. Oh my god! 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 Is your dog sick? No. Uh, he ate my pills. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Hope he's gonna be okay. Your dog is going to be fine. He'll be out in a minute. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. Don't let him get suicidal again. <laughs> My little grenade here has a urinary tract infection. Her name is Grenade? I'm Jeffrey. <laughs> Carla, nice to meet you. Thanks. Papa wants to make sure his little girl's gonna be okay before he returns to base in a couple of days. I'm a Marine officer. Your little grenade is very cute. Stop! Stop! Sorry. Your tour of duty is over, soldier. You can report to base now.
Hello? Hi. Um, is this interpreter 2591? Who is this? Ali, the man who wanted to jump from the building last week. Didn't they lock you up? Three days only, for psych evaluation. It's called 5150. I know what 5150 is. How did you get my number? I called the bank, told them I lost my debit card, and that I needed an Arabic interpreter to the language service. Specifically, interpreter 2591. <laughs> Freak. My $10,000 loan was declined. It wasn't a big amount. It was just 10 grand. Have you thought about applying for another job? They keep saying I'm overqualified. I can't believe overqualified people can't get a job these days. It's the recession. Everybody is hurting right now. Are you taking your medication regularly? I don't need medication. I'm a functional human being who doesn't need Prozac. You're not taking it at all, are you? Actually, Punky took them. He almost died. Had to rush him to the hospital. I'm not kidding you. I met a guy at the bed hospital where Punky was being treated for excessive Prozac intake. And we hooked up. You mean you had sex? It's all about sex, Carla. These aren't relationships that you're having because the minute somebody gets close, you run away. That's not true. You are scared to be vulnerable. You are scared of commitment. I don't think I need therapy anymore. And you're scared of the truth. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. That's a bad decision, Carla. I lost my daughter to suicide. I don't want to lose you, too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't see you. Are you okay? I didn't see you. Is, is there anything I can do? Yes. Next time, just finish the job. بقول لي اسئله دايما بنسالها للمرضى بعتذر اذا جرحنا لك شعورك بس بقول لي اسئله دايما بنسالها عندك على اجنسيه من قدام من ورا بالفم او كلهم just regular sex with my vagina never in my mouth جربي بتمك ما بتعرفي يمكن تحبي Interpreter What's happening? Nothing I'm just asking for clarification It seems the patient is getting upset Thank you for using our services Good night Interpreter Engineer. What kind of engineer? Electrical. Nice. Do you like it? <laughs> no. Not really. But I like you. Mm -mm. How much? See me again? I haven't climaxed like this in a long time. Does that mean yes? You want to do it again? Yes. Carla. Hey, 
It's Ali again. The men who wanted you to... What? Wait, please don't hang up. Listen, you freak, stop calling me! Carla, this is Patrick Sieber from Language Service. Oh, oh. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I thought you were someone else. You were interpreting a call last night for a clinic. They called me to complain today. They said you were rude to a patient and that you hung up on them. Uh, I don't, I don't remember hanging up on anyone. You have to follow an interpreter's protocol and only disconnect when your services are no longer needed. Okay. Let's consider this a warning and hope it won't happen again in the future. All right? Sure. Asshole. <laughs> oh. oh. My turn? Okay. <laughs> Tina. Uh-oh. <laughs> what is Matt's worst attribute? Uh, he's a smoker. Ooh. Uh-uh, she says no. <laughs> <laughs> um, Paul. Yes. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> what is your favorite thing about Carlo? Mm. Hmm. There's lots of things. Ooh. Smart. Mm -hmm. Sensitive. Mm -hmm. Erotic. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, guys, come on, stay yeah. focused here. PG. Ooh, oh, is that a Carla? Carla? Yeah, that's Carla. Me. Your turn to ask Paul. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is my worst attribute? I'll let you know when I find out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Matt, we should go inside. <laughs> Because we have a lot of catching up to do. Okay. Right. Okay. Mm. 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 See you guys later. Bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. You have to go. You have to go right now. I need to go to bed. But you're in bed. Alone. You have to go. 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 You just want me to leave now. Yes. I'm tired. I have an early morning. I don't know why I just can't ever spend the night. So, we just fuck, and then I leave. No, that's not it, okay? I'm just not used to having anyone spend the night. You're just used to getting everything your own way, aren't you? What's that supposed to mean? You want to know what your worst attribute is? No. You don't know what you want. A man or a sex toy. What do you want? Why do you keep calling me? I want to thank you for saving my life. I don't remember saving your life. You pushed my buttons. You challenged me. Will you have coffee with me? No. Why not? Because I don't go out with people I don't know. But that's how you get to know them. Listen, I can't talk right now. I have to go. I can just coffee. If you get bored within five minutes, you can walk away forever. Still there? Yes. Where do you live? Venice. There's a coffee shop on Abakenny. The coffee store. Tomorrow, 6 p.m.? I'm busy tomorrow. After tomorrow? I'll be waiting at the coffee store the day after tomorrow at 6 p.m. What do you look like? I'm 50, 5 feet, 180 pounds. And I have one I'm missing. <laughs> nah. You don't sound 50. Like, I'm six feet tall, brown hair, blue eyes. Look, I have to go.
I'm not used to having anyone spend the night. Well, have you even tried? I just can't do it. I need the bed all to myself. I see I like cuddling with Matt at night. It's nice to have someone spooning you. Maybe Dr. Goldstein is right. I've never let anyone close. Because I'm scared to lose them. See, I liked Paul. He was really smart and he was really nice to you. Yeah, he was. Maybe that's why I pushed him away. Because he's a nice guy. Too nice. Yeah. Yeah. You shouldn't have stopped going to therapy. Therapy helps. It helped me. Yeah. Shit, I'm late. Fuck, I'm sorry. Th there's this guy who keeps calling me. He wants to meet me for coffee. Yeah. I was supposed to meet Matt 10 minutes ago. I'm so sorry. Do it, meet him for coffee. It's a bit complicated how we met. I love you, we'll talk later. I just wanted to ask your advice. Should I meet him or not? But never mind. Please don't be him. Carla? Ali, thank you for coming. I'm sorry I'm late. I'm just so glad it's you. I've been calling your name to every girl who's walked in here for the past 30 minutes, and they just keep giving me dirty looks. <laughs> Please, have a seat. Thanks. Now I can see you have two very beautiful eyes. <laughs> And you do not weigh 180 pounds. <laughs> and you don't look like an alley. Who do I look like? I don't know. A Robert or a Sean. Sean. <laughs> okay. So how long have you been an interpreter? Three years. Do you like it? It's OK. Does that pay well? No. <laughs> How about you? I'm a film director. Really? Yeah. Anything I might have seen? No, but maybe one day. How did you get your name? Huh. So my dad is a huge fan of Muhammad Ali, the boxer. Oh. Yeah. So why did you? I want to try to kill myself. You ever feel that sometimes the whole world is just closing in on you? I mean, it sounds cliche, I know. Sure. You do? Yes. As a matter of fact, I do. Ava and I had been together for five years, and I thought we were going to get married. And then she left me for another man that has a more stable job and makes more money. And that sucks. Yeah. So, after six months, I broke. What about you? You have someone in your life? Funky. My dog. Punky. I see. <laughs> this is it serious? It's a rich, fulfilling relationship. Oh, really? And uh, how long have you and Punky been together? Ten years. Ten years. My dog and I are like this. <laughs> <laughs> are you freaking serious? What if he's a rapist? He's not. I know. <sighs> OK, well, he's suicidal. I'm suicidal, too, remember? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> All right, well, I mean, is he cute at least? <sighs> Very. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what is your favorite movie? Uh, the English Patient. How about yours? The Talented Mr. Ripley. Directed by the same director, Anthony Minghella. Finally, we have something in common. I tried to kill myself, too. I think you should know that. 
Great. I have two things in common. Four times. Wow. Are you scared of me now? Yes. Very much so. I can't believe you were up here. I was desperate. I know the feeling. Would you ever do it again? Only if you left me. <laughs> Seriously, would you? You know, honestly, I don't know. What about you? I'm a bit cold. Well, let's go. I'll be done in five minutes. What are those cards for? Um, those are the lines that the actors have to say. Don't they have a script? They do. It must be exciting to be a film director. It is. All right. Let's see. That was delicious. Oh, sorry to have kept you waiting. Thank you for cooking. You're a good cook. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm so glad I pursued you. I'm so glad you took my call. <laughs> you were very persistent. You were the voice that saved me that day. <laughs> well, I'm serious. The voice of reason. The voice of God. <laughs> if you want to call it that. I wish I had a voice to reason me. I can be that voice. But please don't walk out on me. I don't think I can handle it this time. I won't. I want to apologize for storming out angry last time. How have you been doing? I made someone special. <laughs> really? But what makes him different than the rest? I've been spending almost every day with him for the past three weeks. What does he do for a living? He's a film director. Did Tina introduce you? He came highly recommended by work. Nice. <laughs> I haven't been depressed. The dead haven't appeared in three weeks. And he spends the night. Oh, Carla. That is so wonderful. <laughs> I wanted to come back and tell you nicely that now is a good time for me to stop therapy. I'm in a better place now, and I think I can take better care of myself. Well, I don't really think that's a good idea, but it's your decision. I am stronger and better. Thank you for everything, Dr. Goldstein. 
You take care of yourself. And you call me if you need me. All right? Okay. Goodbye, Dr. Goldstein. I don't remember much. I was very young. But they were very loving. They called me their little princess. Both my parents died that day. I'm sorry. It must be hard. Do you still have family in Lebanon? My parents' friends were older and couldn't have children. So they took me in. Then one day they immigrated to the States. And I ended up here. Do you still talk to them much? They both died of old age. You have had a lot of people die in your life. Sometimes I want to join them. Don't say that. Because I want you to hang around. How about you? Uh, I'm an only child, and my parents live in Chicago. Are you close to them? Yes, very much. You have pictures? Uh, let me see. Who are all those women? I'm um, looking at casting them on my next feature. Ava? She's pretty. Not anymore. Uh, I guess family photos are still in boxes and storage. I just moved from Chicago a couple months ago. I'm gonna go jump in the shower. Okay. You stay here, bud. These women are very pretty. I couldn't help but to look at them. Why are the pictures black and white? We're casting for a historical film. Oh, cool. When do you start filming? I start early next week. I would love to come on set and see you directing. <laughs> you will. One day. Does he know that we know how you guys met? Yes. And I told him you guys didn't want me to go out with him because he might be mentally deranged. <laughs> 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 
he's here. You're gonna love him. He's great. It seems serious. He spends the night after we make love. He just falls asleep after sex. Guys are knocked out after the sex. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Ali. Hey, man. I'm Matt. Nice to meet you. Hey. hey. When's the last time you got me flowers? Mm -hmm. I got you this. It lasts longer. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. They are good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. To your happiness and to her latest conquest. Don't you dare break her heart. <laughs> to a great year ahead of us all. Cheers. <laughs> okay, there is this game that we like to play, especially when we're bust. <laughs> what is your worst attribute? Oh. Um, I don't know how to live without a woman. <laughs> Come on, that's not even an answer. It is. No. <laughs> Why not? No. Okay, what's yours? Lame. Thanks for helping clean up the mess. Tina and Matt already crashed. Well, thank you for introducing me to your friends. It means a lot. Tina, she's great. She's the sister I never had. When do you start shooting tomorrow? Uh, we start at 6.30, which means I have to be up at 5. Mm. Where are you filming? The studio over at Raleigh Street. Mm. So tomorrow after work, we'll get together, OK? OK. How was the shoot? Long. Aren't you too tired to write? You're right. What time do you start tomorrow? 6.30. Mm. Studio on Riley Street? Yeah. So, what's the film about? It's about a, uh, a love story that spans three decades. Ooh. Yeah. Yes, they're telling me I'm a bird and I can fly high. Thank you for using our services. Interpreter 2591 disconnecting. Quiet on set, please. All right, let's do it, everybody. We don't have time. Let's go. Let's roll. We only got an hour to get this. Cue card in close for Alexander. Bring it up, bring it up. Up, 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 up. All right, action and rehearsal. The package will be delivered to your front door. Thank you for placing your order with us. Great. Let's get the camera in place. We don't have all this. It's unlocked. Hey. Thank you. Thank you very much, folks. Thank you. Well, we have a wild show today. I have a secret special. I'm sorry. What is your job on the set? I hold cue cards for actors so that they don't forget their lines. Why did you lie? Look, I don't care what you do for a living. I don't care if you're a film director. I care about you. You. I am going to be a film director one day. That's not the point. You have to trust me if you want me to trust you. Is there something else you want to tell me? About your mom? Did you search through my stuff? 
That day when I was looking at the pictures, I saw the folder from the orphanage. These women, they were a possible match for your mom and not actresses. Tell me. Tell me. My mom left me shortly after I was born. And I don't know who my dad is. In my whole life, women have been abandoning me. My mom, Ava, and I didn't want you to think I wasn't good enough for you. So you lied? I'm so sorry for lying, Carla. That is the past. Mine is not better anyways. Just please don't lie to me again. I won't. I promise. I love you. I love you too. You know, one day, we will have a house on the beach. Punky can run around all he wants, and you and I can watch a sunset every single night. Come back here. I'm sick of all of this. All of it. What's your problem? Do me a favor, will you? Stop nagging me. I am not nagging you. Then what do you call it? I'll stop nagging if you stop lying. I am not lying. You have been lying for 40 years, Bill. I should have never married you, ever. That is the first sensible thing you have ever said. Hey, you two together? Newly in love. Some advice, don't ever get married. Especially not to a lying asshole. Okay, I think it's time we go for a walk. Yep, let's go. You two have a good night. Well, look at that. Scared them away. So it's my fault again. He liked because he's scared to lose me. Like all the others. Uh, yeah, but he's still lied. I feel good with him. You forgave him. Oh, I'm afraid you're in love. I think so. <laughs> what? Oh, love comes in the strangest ways. Oh, sure does. <laughs> Carla? Fuck you! Carla, wait! Carla! <laughs> Carla? Open the door, please. I explained about Ava. It's not what you think. Carla, please. Carla, I'm unavailable. Do your thing after the town. Carla, it's me. Please pick up. Just give me a chance to explain everything. I know you're angry at me, but I swear nothing happened that day. I feel nothing for her. It's you that I love. Come on, answer your phone, damn it. I love you. Answer your damn phone.
Simona, Kyla, please, Simona. Hey, lady, what the hell's your problem? Get help. Jesus. Hello, Kyla. Hello, it's Carla. I'm unavailable. Do your thing after the tone. Pick up. Pick up the goddamn phone. I'm coming over. answering any of my calls. Hey, what's going on? No, 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 come on. No, 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 you're not going back to sleep. Come on, get up, put that down. Hey, you need some fresh air, okay? Wash your face, go to the bathroom, let's go. Get up, fine, get up. Fine, fine, I need to go get wine anyways. Oh, what? This is disgusting. Who lives like this? Come on, Carla. He lied to you about his job, his mom, his ex. I mean, can't you see this guy is a pathological liar? He lies because he's scared. You're excusing his behavior. I mean, look at you. You can't even get out of your apartment anymore. You've got to get him out of your mind. He's not the right one for you. I can't. I love him. He was hugging his ex, for God's sake. He's probably even fucking her. Carla. Carla! I have very strong abdominal cramping. And I can barely breathe. Can she rate her pain on a scale of one to ten? Min wahed ila ashra. Six. No, 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 no. Seven. Seven. Interpreter, what's going on? Are you okay? Yep. Are you interpreting everything I'm saying? <coughs> yep. Excuse me? I didn't say shit. Miss Interpreter, you sound rude and unprofessional. I don't think I'll be needing your services anymore. You are the unprofessional one with an attitude. Who the hell do you think you are? I'm the one who's gonna tell you to go fuck yourself. <sighs> Bitch. Carla, I'm unavailable. Do your thing after the tone. Carla, this is Patrick Sieber from the Language Service again. I want to let you know that after yesterday's incident that there's no need for you to log into work anymore. It's Carla. I'm unavailable. Do your thing after the tone. You're fired as of immediately and... Hi there. Hi. What can I get for you? I... I want... handcuffs. Handcuffs? Gotcha. These are my number one bestsellers, and they're all on sale. Whip, pink furry handcuffs. They'll look great against your skin tone. Dominatrix mask, and the vibrator. I just want the cuffs. Oh, honey, you should buy all of these. Get the whole package. He's going to love this. There's no he. 
Gotcha. Well, she will love this, too. She's gonna go crazy for all of this shit. There's no one. This is for me. Ah. You're the solitary kind. How much? For you, the deal of the century. Forty-six dollars. Okay. The receipt is in the bag. Thank you. You're welcome. And there are batteries in the bag for the vibrator. It's going to make you scream. I'm sorry. You deserve a better mama. Dr. Goldstein. It's not what you think. What is it? Fuck. I can't even kill myself. Oh my god, baby, you're scaring me. Are you? Are you okay? How pathetic is that? <laughs> you have to promise me you're not going to do this again, okay? <laughs> Promise me, Carla. back. What can I get for you this time? Just came in. Cherry flavored lubricant. And delicious. I actually want to talk to the manager. You're looking at her. You? Uh-huh. Um... I'm looking for a job. Let me in. It's the time. Ooh, my love's like a battery. Knock, knock, knock. There's a package waiting for you. Unmarked love, it's anonymous. This bet nothing in your bathroom gives you wet like this. I'm your vibrator. Shaking the club from the inside. I'm your vibrator. Hello, Hello. 
down! What a freak. This is Dr. Goldstein. Hello, Dr. Goldstein. This is Carla. Carla, are you okay? <laughs> I lost Ali. I lost my job. And I'm miserable. Where are you? <laughs> Home. Why don't you come and see me tomorrow? I'm starting a new job tomorrow. And I have to work. But I can't come off to work. Six, seven, or eight. I'll see you at seven tomorrow. <laughs> Take care until then, Carlo, okay? Okay. Promise. <laughs> yeah. done with these, I want you to go to aisle four and put the price tags on all the dairy products. Excuse me, do you know how the peanut butter's on? It's an aisle nut. Carla. How are you? I'm, I'm good. Can you talk? I can't. I'm working. What time are you done? Why? What do you want? I, I just want to say hi. I want to catch up. L9. Thanks. Hey. What do you want from me? Please, just give me a chance to explain myself before you silence me. You had your chance. You blew it. Now leave me alone. Just five minutes. Leave me alone. Five minutes. That's all I'm asking. So what happened to the interpretation job? I got fired about two months ago. Sorry to hear that. How long have you been working at the grocery store? It's my first day. Do you like it? I have bills to pay. Do you need money? No. I can lend you some money. It'll make things a bit easier until you can... I don't need your money. I'm physically healthy, and I have a job. Can you try being honest for once? Please. What you saw between Ava and I was just a hug. She came to me hurting and I didn't want to turn my back on her. That is the truth. Have you gone out with another woman since we? Yes. I'm telling you the whole truth, and it feels very liberating. I love you. Well, love without trust doesn't survive. I have to go. I've had a long day, and I have an appointment at 7. Tell me you don't love me anymore, and I will leave you alone. I don't love you anymore. Do you mean it? Goodbye. Everything went downhill at once. Well, I'm glad you called. I've been thinking about you a lot lately. I lied to him earlier when I told him I don't love him anymore. 
He seems to matter a great deal to you. He lies because he's afraid of being vulnerable, just like you. The difference is he deals with his fear by lying. You deal with your fear by running away. I don't know what to do anymore. Take it slow. Think it through. You have to decide if you can accept someone who has issues just like you. We'll talk more about this next time. In the meantime, you need to take care of yourself and try not to get overwhelmed. These will help. Promise me you'll take them. Thank you. I miss talking to you. I'll see you next week. Okay. done, I want you to go and do the same on aisle two. Okay. And then go to aisle three and do the same for the feminine care section. And then when you're done, you can take your lunch break at one. Just take a 30 minute break because we got a lot to do and we're understaffed today. Sure. I'm done. I'm taking off. I want you back from lunch at 1.30 sharp. I have more merchandise coming in that you need to stock before the end of your shift. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> Maybe teach some Arabic and French at some school. He's here. Nah, he's too old for me. I do him. What? I do him real good. Matt is way harder. Yeah. Well, Matt's an asshole. He's a sad excuse of a man. But he loves you very much. Turns out, he's been loving a lot of girls so much. No, no, not Matt. You guys are the perfect couple. Looks to me deceiving. What do you think? Do you think looks can be deceiving? Depends. Do you think cheating is a good thing? It still depends. On what? On whether or not you're the one that's doing the cheating or you're the one that's being cheated on. Oh, that's a fine answer. Hmm. That's a very fine answer. Frank. Tina. Hi, Tina. This is my friend, Carla. Hi. Hi, Carla. It's a pleasure to meet you, lovely ladies. Mm. I got their drinks. And I'm jealous, too. So, Tina, are you lovely ladies ready to go somewhere else? Yes. No, Tina. Uh-huh. We're gonna go. What we'll are you doing? We'll be right back. Do you want to come? Carla. Right? No. Bye. Tina. 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 We're gonna go dance. Tina. Uh -huh. Yeah. Tina, what are you doing? Tina. Uh -huh. Hey, Tina, you okay? I am great. Where are you? I had the best sex I've had in two years. Did he leave? Frank is here. We're getting ready for round two. Gotta go. 
Okay, I guess I'll talk to you later. Get off the ledge. Please, just get off of there. Tell me you don't love me. I want to hear you say it. Say you don't love me. Please, I'm scared of heights. Say you don't love me. Yalla Karla, Yalla Karla, visit. Yalla, visit. Yalla Karla, visit. Yalla Karla, big visit. Yalla, visit. He lies because he's afraid of being vulnerable, just like you. Visit, Karla, Karla, visit. Yalla, Karla, visit. Please don't. I lied. I love you. Get off the fucking ledge. No! no! Carla, I didn't lie about loving you. Just hold on to my head. I'm too heavy. We'll both go down. Just let me go. Get no. off the ledge. No, no, don't. Please, I love you. Don't. I love you. What's going on I'm... here? Help oh, him, show again. Help him, please. Oh. Oh. I thought I made it clear. I don't want to see your ugly face on my building roof again. Why? Why what? You pushed me. I didn't mean to. You tried to kill me, crazy woman. You were the picture of sanity? Oh, you're completely unstable. You're a needy pathological liar. You're depressed the game and kill herself. Totally toxic. You're the last person I should get involved with. I love you. <sighs> Do you really think we can make it? You're both fuck ups, my darling. And Matt, we got a lot of similarities. Get off my roof now, you crazy wackos. I should have pushed both of you down. 